building each layer in pieces because it's the original drawing is so big. Aya Morton is a printmaker. This is the concept art that I sent in. Um, so this is what got approved. Paola de la Cruz works in cut paper. I have it open right here. Here. Today I call Portland, Oregon my home. Both artists are working on big <laughs> projects that'll be shared with everyone. Oh, this is really fun, especially because it, it's going to get even bigger. Aya was one of over 50 artists who responded to an open call for artists to create public art displays. These are 20 by 40. The final will be... 60 by 120 inches. Paula's five foot by 10 foot mural will join Aya's and Lisa Flower Roth's mural to be mounted in Hillsboro, Oregon. Downtown, the old abandoned bank building is being refurbished with businesses and an outdoor art gallery. But these murals are going to be such a powerful welcome to our downtown. Friday Harrington is Hillsboro's full-time manager in technically the first cultural art district in Oregon. It's a new chapter being very specific about how we can support our local economy. It's a partnership that's transforming the Main Street Commons into a welcoming city center. As you look across the, the front of the building, these brick sections that are protruded out will have the artwork by Paula de la Cruz. This figure on the left is the past, and then this middle piece is future. The front-facing brick facade will have the installation by Aya Morton, and her panels will be 10 foot by 30 foot, all connected. The careful wiping helps with getting the, you know, the lightness in the water. At print stage now. Let's see, we had it at, here we go. Aya is ready to see it printed large and mounted. Ooh, yeah. It's a way that we can openly access inspiration without any economic barriers. In other words, everyone can see it in late May this year with more recognition events coming this summer. It's really fantastic that the city has made this investment so that people can just be enjoying it more and more. I think Hillsborough people are resilient, um, loving, and creative. In the midst of Hillsborough's newest art gallery at the Main Street Commons, I'm Stephen Redlin, KGW News.